to be an A-star idiot. Basically, for some reason, both me and my mum thought that the course started the next day and all throughout school, I was just paranoid that it started today and I checked at lunch and you know what? Ironically, yep, it started today. So I left school at lunchtime and I just frantically packed. <laughs> Hey guys, so really quick life update. I've made it to Selwyn College. Um, I was really, really late and the, my group is currently doing a scavenger hunt so I kind of need to get back to them. But I located my room and it's nice. Look, okay, so I've got an ensuite, which I was not expecting. I have a mirror, we have a bed and they've, they've given us towels and I really wasn't sure if they were gonna bring us towels, but they did. But yeah, I'm quite excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. After we toured the beautiful grounds, um, we were eventually taken for dinner. Every meal that we had at our summer school at Cambridge was in the big hall, and I literally felt like I was at Hogwarts. Hey guys, so I am at Selwyn College, summer school right now. Just had dinner. Hi, say hi. <laughs> say hey. We then had planned evening activity and got jumbled into new groups. There were a few rounds of quizzes, which I was pretty awful at. Also, I guess I was kind of expecting everyone at Cambridge to be like stuck up or just a crazy genius. But everyone was so normal and open and friendly, which I was really grateful for. We then ended it all with an a cappella riff off. And then after a debrief, we watched Love Island in the TV room and I unpacked all this stuff. Yeah, so far everyone has been so nice, especially like with the fact that I was late, like people have been very accommodating. But yeah, it is 10.30, just watched Love Island. Breakfast tomorrow is at 8, so I'm going to sleep. I might try and wake up and try and edit a video. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. See you. So the closet is so big, I can literally stand inside of it and like look. What? <laughs> I'm ready to go, I've got my key and my lanyard. Got my outfit on. Now I am going for a briefing and then I'm going to my first lecture, which is astrobiology, I believe. To infinity and beyond. Our astrobiology lecture was about Earth's origins geologically. And afterwards we all went for a big group photo in the garden. Hi. <laughs> so it's just started to rain um, and we're in the gardens and we just had free time, we just had a photo. And now we are going to, what we're going to take medicine. Medicine. Yay. <laughs> the medicine lecture was literally so interesting. I mean, I want to do biology and it was about embryology and stem cells. Um, and the guy was really like engaging. Hi. I'm so soaking. It was cute though, they brought us umbrellas. Can you hear it? We then all trekked back to Old Court for lunch. They were pretty good about the fact that I was vegan every lunch. There was always an option for me. And again, we ate in the big hall. I then located my maths lecture, which was actually maths and computer science and kind of statistics as well. Bonjour. So I've just got back to my room. I've got a whole pack of Oreos. Um, so greedy. I just had a maths and computer science statistics talk. I think initially they put me in media and politics and I don't really know a lot about politics. So I was like, oh, I'll go to maths because I take maths A level. And I was really interested in like the first half hour. It's really like cool. And the woman who did it, she worked on the filters for Snapchat, which is like really cool. And she was really engaging. But then <laughs> she started introducing all these like formulas and equations and flow diagrams and stuff. And it all just like went over my head. <laughs> I was like nodding and trying to be like not rude. But yeah, I'm going to the Whipple History of Science Museum in like 10 minutes. We then all met by Porter's Lodge and despite the rain, began to walk all the way to the Whipple History of Science Museum. As well as being toured around the museum, we also did an activity around the back and we got to see some really old scientific texts 
such as Vesalius's book, which was really cool. Upon making our way home, we proceeded to get massively lost and kind of had to consult this map. So instead we went and looked around King's College and looked around a few of the other colleges. Hey! We are we're walking back to Selwyn right now and we took a detour. So we're gonna get back like way later than we wanted to. And the weather's kind of pathetic. <laughs> hey! Hey! So I'm just getting ready for the formal. I'm wearing my dress. I think I'm far more formal than like everyone else. That's not good, because some people didn't know that there was a formal dinner. And also, mmm, spots just come today. It's not very nice, but you know, oh well. So I might put on some makeup now. Yeah. So I've kind of done my makeup. It's quite pretty natural. Um, I've put a highlighter on, which is exciting. Um, and I've done some sort of like orangey eye makeup because my dress is blue. And they are complimentary colours. We then made our way to the big hall for the formal dinner and they'd arranged all the plates on the tables and everything had the Selwyn logo and it was just like a really nice evening especially because by then you kind of had your friends to sit with and everything. I thought I would take this opportunity to basically say that the summer school is for state school students only. I applied through my school and my I think my teacher had to write a reference I also had to send in like a big application and stuff and they did ask for my grades. They, always take forward to meal with a massive they have summer schools at most of the colleges at Cambridge though, so it's definitely worth looking into if you're interested. Okay, wait, get in, get in. Can you, can you see it? Right, okay guys, YouTube 101. Don't look at this, look at this. Don't look at this, look at this. Um, so I'm on a summer school at Selwyn College at Cambridge. And here are some of the friends that I have met. Hi Yay. guys! Yay. Introduce yourselves, go. Essa. Elizabeth. Angela. <laughs> Maida. I was waiting for you to introduce yourself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty much all. I just wanted you guys to be in it. Aww. Aww. She's so lovely. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Aww. Thank you. Wait, how many subscribers do you have? Uh, 46,000. Subscribe, we're actually more going to Cambridge in the future. A month. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. A lot of people are going to see this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Thank you guys for being in the video. That's Aww. it. We're doing you a favour. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Each night we would have at least an hour free time to go to the JCR, which had like a TV room, and a pool table, table tennis, and this was just kind of good like social time, bonding time. It also confirmed how shoddy I am at table tennis and pool actually. But you know, I give it a go. <laughs> And then came day three, the last full day of lectures. I'm not sure I even explained the lectures, but basically before we came, there were lots of slots of lectures with three options for each one, and we had to book onto an online system which one we wanted to attend. After morning briefing, I went to a biology lecture about osmoregulation, and then just for the fun of it, I went to an economics lecture, and I've never done economics in my entire life, so that was kind of a struggle. Then came lunch once more and we went around the grounds a little bit before going to what I think was my favourite lecture about the science of pain and illusions. And then I went to the chemistry labs and we did two titration practicals working on our own in the massive lab so that was a bit intimidating. I actually really enjoyed that though. And then we went for dinner, not in the big hall this time, but in a different hall because they were having graduation in there. And I know it sounds weird, but they were literally the best bread rolls ever. They were like warm and crispy and amazing. <laughs> That evening we did Paul Elliott's famous murder mystery investigation. There were loads of random objects and puzzles and all the different tables. And I'm kind of not much of a detective, I'll tell you that. After that for like two hours, we went to the JCR again. And then I collapsed into bed because I was very, very tired. <laughs> So it's my last day here at Cambridge and I'm currently just packing my suitcase. You can see it, but um, yeah.
That went so quick. It's literally gone so quickly. I'm so sad because I've made such nice friends here. So I still need to go have breakfast um, and we have a briefing. I'm going to reveal the murderer of the murder mystery. We kind of gave up on that, so we haven't won that, but you know, I'm so tired as you can probably tell. I just, I'm not getting sleep here. Like we were given chemistry homework yesterday for today. And so we got back into our rooms at like 11 and I had to do that. And I also had to pack my bag and yet we have to be up really early here as well, so. I can't wait to finally get back into my normal sleep routine. <laughs> we then had a uni application workshop and learned more about writing personal statements and getting into Oxbridge. This was followed by a closing ceremony and we all got certificates and I was proud to say that I won the competition for being the best tweeter on Twitter. Neil. Ready Ella say say hi. A massive thank you to everyone who made my time at Cambridge so amazing. Thank you. <laughs>